bring Wooly to the library, Ms. Reader? Can I bring Wooly to the library, Ms. Reader? Can I? Please? If I brought Wooly to the library, he could finally get a library card. He could practice writing with Mr. Penn, you know, the new library volunteer. Sometimes Wooly mixes up his letters or makes them backward. But with more practice, he could print his name on your library card application and you could read it. With his library card, Wooly would charge into the kids section and pick out a mammoth sized stack of books to read. And he'd be so happy. He'd let out a loose, long, loud bellow. Maybe that would be a good time for Wooly and me to go over the library rules. No bellowing in the library. Thank you, the library staff. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Ms. Reader? Can I, please? If I brought Wooly to the library and that thumping noise he makes when he walks, because he weighs a ton, was too loud, I could buy Wooly a pair of extra large fuzzy slippers. That way, he'd be as quiet as a butterfly landing on a buttercup. And maybe I could pick up slippers for those rowdy Bopsy twins too. No thumping in the library. Thank you, the library staff. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Ms. Reader? Can I, please? If I brought Wooly to the library and their returned books were piling up on your to-be-shelved cart, Wooly could shelve them for you. He knows his numbers and ABCs, and he can reach the tall shelves with no problem. Can you imagine if he got stuck between the shelves? We could get him unstuck, but what a mess. Maybe we should leave the shelving to you, Ms. Reader. But Wooly could sit at your desk to check books in and out. Then things would be back to normal. Almost. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Ms. Reader? Can I? Please? If I brought Wooly to the library and cuddly Teddy wasn't in the reading corner because several of his seams had split open, probably from all the hugs he gets, and he was in the toy shop being repaired, Wooly could take his place. Wooly's very cuddly. Then the little kids would still have plenty of places to sit and someone who'd listen to them read aloud. Wooly loves listening to little kids read. Miss Page the, in Literacy Services says being read to will help Wooly with his reading too. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Ms. Reader? Can I, please? If I brought Wooly to the library on Halloween for your annual storybook character costume party, we'd be a hit. I'd go as the big bad wolf and Wooly would go as Little Red Riding Hood. Little Wooly Riding Hood? Then you'd read us spooky stories. We'd all listen, Wooly too, bug-eyed, terrified, and frozen with fear. It'd be the coolest story hour ever. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Ms. Reader? Can I, please? If I brought Wooly to the library and Mayor Pinchpenny came in with overdue books, which he usually does, and he complained loudly that he wasn't going to pay any fines because he'd renewed his books by phone last week, but he hadn't. Wooly had flipped Mayor Pinchpenny upside down and shake him, gently of course, until enough coins had fallen from his pockets to pay his fine. Then Wooly had flipped Mayor Pinchpenny right side up and continue reading his book. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Ms. Reader? Can I, please? If I brought Wooly to the library and it was your turn to drive the bookmobile to Littletown and you were worried about driving in the snow, Wooly could get you there safe and sound. Wooly grew up at the North Pole and doesn't worry about snow. But if you did slide into a snowbank, Wooly would just hook his curvy tusks around the bookmobile's bumper and pull. You'd be back on the highway quick as a blink. And if you had to spend the night in the bookmobile, you'd get used to Wooly snoring. <sighs> Uh-oh, Ms. Reader, my mom's worried that if Wooly came to stay with us, he would get homesick, like I did at camp last summer. 
Being so far from home at the North Pole, he would miss his parents a lot. And the snowy, frozen weather, too. So, Wooly won't be coming to the library. But he has a friend who will be visiting family around here. Wooly's friend loves to curl up with a good book. So, can I bring Saber to the library, Miss Reader? Can I? Please? The end.